left off here after doing Mojave Outpost and finishing off Prim and I swept up through the desert here, picked up a few locations. So now I'm ready to go into Nipton and carry on from there. It's getting dark so I might uh, I might sleep in one of these houses till morning. We'll see here. What the hell is this? It's the, the bottle cap people shooting at each other. Whichever one lives here will come up to you and tell you about the bottle caps. And then they'll be like, oh no, I don't want them. And then they'll try and kill you. So we killed them both. star caps on them. If you don't intervene, they just, one of them kills the other and then they come and bug you. Give you the same song and dance that that guy in the first, uh, video. I think it was the first video, maybe it was the second. That first guy I killed, he did. They do the same thing as him, basically. If you don't gun him down like I just did, he just comes up to you and just says a bunch of dumb shit and then runs off. No mercy for these powder gangers. Now actually, there's one powder ganger in the store here that I'm not going to kill immediately. Because he gives you a mission, which actually leads to um, you being able to get to an area that you wouldn't be able to if you kill him. First, let's deal with these guys. Now, oops. This can be kind of sketchy sometimes. They can just let them go. Which, hmm. Let's talk to him first. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here, especially any NCR troops you run across. As are all crimes. If you feel strongly about it, attack us. And soon you won't feel a thing. I've got an idea. How about... I cut your head off with my AK. Then all your friends. Retribution. Retribution. Whoa. Make sure they're dead. Gotta make sure they're dead. <laughs> it's always satisfying to do that. To kill these bastards. <clears throat> Anyways. Now I'm going to be having some uh, Legion assassin squads coming after me. But, 
if I don't die to them, the upside is they usually have good gear that you can sell. So that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Now these guys, there's nothing you can do for these guys. Can't take them down. Besides, they're powder gangers. So who really cares? So the best thing you can do is shoot them in the head. slaughtering people. Talk to this guy. I'm going to spare him for now until I do this mission. If you want to get into the uh, some of the uh, places in Searchlight later, you need to not kill this guy. Are you fucking kidding me? First, I get my legs smashed, and then in walks the Powder Ganger's grim fucking Reaper. What the fuck have you got against us, man? Jesus fucking Christ. If you want me dead, just give me 15 medics, and I'll fucking OD for you, okay? Fuck! Fuck and fuck, all right. I don't know. I just love it here. What the fuck do you think, asshole? Prize for <laughs> second place was I got to live, but they beat my fucking legs with hammers. I'm fucking crippled, get it? I fucking get it, motherfucker. And you're a fucking dream come true, ain't you? How much you gonna give me? Big fucking deal. Hand it over. Luck, that's how. I'm just that fucking lucky. You're looking at the second place winner of the Nipton Lottery. That asshole Swanick took first place. So him they let walk. Then I gunned him down. It ain't like we came to Nipton to play it. Me and my crew had it worked out to kidnap some NCR troopers who come to town to get laid. Had it all worked out with the scumbag mayor. We were going to ransom them off, keep their weapons for ourselves, a nice score. We get in position, and next thing we know, we're surrounded by those fucking Legion freaks. They dragged us and everybody else into the center of town. And that asshole with a dog on his head, he starts talking about how we're bad people. He said we needed to be punished for what we did. Not all of us, but some of us. And then he gives everyone a fucking lottery ticket. What do you think? He started drawing tickets and that's how people got punished. First up was the lucky losers. They got decapitated. Guess that's lucky cuz it's pretty quick. Then came the crucifixions. God damn, but those went on and on and on. Third place runners up got enslaved. I got the fuck beat out of my legs, and the winner, they let go free. Him? When his ticket came up, they burned him alive on a pile of tires. Yeah, a bunch of those Legion fucks dragged him off right away. They were headed east, if you're feeling heroic. Don't act like you'd be doing me a favor. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> the Legion happened. What the fuck's it look like? Bye. Yep. <clears throat> Leave this guy alive for the moment. First, I'm not exactly sure why it affects the the quests in Searchlight, but it does. I don't think there's actually anything up here. Just uh. Yeah, I went and looked online um, at the, um, oh right, these are for your apartment, you can get Novak, but since I hate country music, I just sell them for a good profit. I looked at the uh, the page for this ENB uh, graphic setting, and uh, I, there's nothing I can do about how dark it is inside. One thing dude uh, that made it recommended was to get a uh, flashlight mod. He had a link for one, so probably uh, after this video, I'll go get that mod, see if it does help me in here, in places like this, interiors, you know. Because the pit boy light, it's okay when you're five feet away, but it'd be nice to have a flashlight. That'd be pretty sweet. So I might, uh, I should have got it before I started playing, but uh, I didn't really feel like it at the moment. 
So probably the next video it'll be easier for easier to see inside. And originally this mod made the nights much darker, but I had a it's the sky mod. Uh, sky textures for some reason make it brighter. Um, I'm going to sleep until dawn. Loot this house and then sleep so that I can actually see. Don't want a bunch of booze. Nothing useful. Still need to look out for... I don't know what that's for. One of the weapons, I think maybe the Ripper. Uh, I still need to look out for those scrap parts, though, for the so I can get EDE. Just sleep until uh, no, not for 24 hours, just until dawn. Dawn-ish, pre-dawn. It'll be light here in a minute. Some, uh... Oh, whoops. So I'm gonna, I'll do the town hall first, and then I'll go through some of these houses because some of them, I think there's some trailers back there too I can check out, but some of them have some stuff that's worth picking up in there. Just to see if these guys have anything. I don't think they do. I looted the Legion guys already. I'm gonna just get a uh, I just hit the hadn't used that yet. For some reason it puts it up by three now. I'm not exactly sure why. Like it used to be just two. I'm just waiting a second so I can get a, a screenshot. Cause I feel like it. Good screenshot for Nipton. Just wanted a little bit brighter. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. What time is it? Oh, here comes Dawn. Oh, right, I turned the menu off. Shit. Damn. Get a shot of the town hall for my thumbnail, I guess. In we go. Should just be a bunch of dogs in here. I think sometimes uh, raiders will show up. Actually, I don't know if that's now or later in the game. But goddamn, is it. No, there's pretty much nothing of interest in here. Just odds and ends. All the dead people don't have shit on them. The only place that's really of interest is going upstairs into the mayor's office. So I'm not going to mess around in here too much. Huh. Okay. Let's see. Even the uh, cat eye drug that usually gives you like a low light vision doesn't help here. Vats doesn't care about the dark. Where's this other dog? Alright. Let's go upstairs.
Why you do this, bats? Why you do this? Oh shit. I'm not sure what that locked door is. I didn't think most of the filing cabinets or anything have anything in them. And the mayor's office. There might be a few places I can't get into up here. Did not want the wine. Booze is pretty useless on here. It's it's like real life. For every good thing it does, it does five bad things. Uh, there we go. Not sure if there's anything good. Pre war money, I just let it pile up and then I sell it later on. Makes it a little bit of a profit, especially once you if you get a bunch of it. Make sure I get the 2k caps I need for when I get to Vegas so I can get into the strip. You still have to pay the guy. Like I said on the previous episode, the uh, restoration project that mods the freestyle in the strip, for some reason it fucked the gate into Vegas up. Like, you still gotta pay the dude or you get attacked on the strip to get in or, you know, get a passport or whatever first. But, um, I had to do a workaround to actually be able to get into the strip. See what I mean when I get there. Laser pistol, pretty much useless. And where is my lockpick at? Uh, Forty four. Did I pick up a, a magazine for that just now? Hmm. Of course not. Oh well. That door, I can't remember what's back there, but there's another locked one that's hard downstairs, so I'll be back here at some point to clear it out. Mainframe connection. Alright. I'm going to read through this stuff, and if I read too fast, just pause the video.
So anyways, now I can open up this journal I picked up back uh, at the outpost. Where is it? New Stein's journal. Or... Oh, it's... I can't read it right. I forgot, I guess. Okay, so that's pretty much it. There's nothing here. Mayor sold out the town, fucked everyone over. Legion came, killed everybody. And we're done here. In here. Not done in Nipton yet. But we're done here. So, start going through these buildings. Now one other way into the strip, if you want to, is you can uh, wear NCR armor, go to McCarran Airport, and ride the monorail. As long as you're disguised as a member of them, you can use it and get in that way. But I, I won't need to. Or you can get a, a fake passport from the king. Ooh, jalapenos. But the easiest way is just to get the 2,000 caps. Maybe not the easiest way, but it's the way I'm going to. I was just saying that because, yep, yeah, there's usually NCR armor here. I'm not going to take it because I don't need to. These dog tags you can turn in. I forget exactly to who. I'll know it when I see it. But that's an easy way to score armor up there is early on. I really like their uh, rebuilt power armor they have. It's kind of a unique set. It's not as good as, like, real power armor, but it's, it's pretty cool. I like it. in here. A few houses over this way. Some of these houses have s some hostiles in them. Well, a robot and a few critters. One of them has a bunch of traps. Mostly what I'm in here for is caps, random food, stuff like that. Some ammo here and there. I need a sensor module to get EDE back up and running. And hold on a minute because I've got a cat trying to get somewhere it's not supposed to be. Oh, bastards. Okay. One of my cats thinks it's real funny to get up on my computer desk and rub on my computer tower and sometimes knock it over. It's not a very big tower. It's not like a, one of those big ones. It's actually pretty small. It's about the size of a PS4 or something like that. Or like in a regular, you know, like an Xbox 360. It's pretty small for a tower. It's a powerhouse though. But hold on. Ah, what bastard. are stuck in there. You can, however, kill them. Just like that. <laughs> By taking a oh, This is the one with the traps. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. See, I'm already looking low on the doctor's bags. You can shoot him through the side. Most of the time. I don't have the skill to let him out, so. Oh, how the hell did you get out of here? Son of a bitch. It's gonna bug me if I can't kill this thing. Okay, enough wasting ammo. Enough wasting ammo. Trap here. But. Yeah. 
everything in this house is locked. And there's like not actually anything good in a lot of the locks. It's a weirdo motherfucker's house. Another trap. Come on. It's not really, um... Oh, right. It's not really a... It's kind of messed up, but I do know a place I can use that. Oh, what the hell? That out somehow. Alright. That's it for this house. I'll read you that random weird note that was in there. No idea what he means by that. Okay, obviously the town crazy. One of these places has a hostile robot in it. And it's got a bunch of scrap. Uh, that I may have to pick up. I might go get EDE this early, uh, if I get the parts. I wouldn't usually do that, but I might. Full up now. Okay, I already looked. I don't think there's anything in here. Yeah, let's go. That's the one I was just in. Did I look in this one over here? I can't remember. Gotta have that fruit. Get rid of that plate while I'm thinking about it. Let me guess. Red plate. Yep. That uh, PDA like Pip Boy mod thing. I don't know why it does that, but it does. Oh, I've got a kitten climbing my leg. Oh, too many cats. I had a ah sharp little bastard. I had a cat that we picked up as a stray. Surprise, it was pregnant. So now I've got four little month-old kittens that are just balls of energy running around the house, climbing my legs. Oh my god. It's so relentless. It climbs me, I put it down, it climbs me, I put it down. Alright, anyways. Oh my god. Bad kitten. Uh. 
Sorry that I keep stopping, but I literally have a little kitten that keeps climbing my back. BB gun. And he's a sharp little bastard. I've got little cuts all over my legs. Maybe try to climb me. Okay. Food. Oh, I'm full. That's great. I need to use some of this stuff. Um, even though I don't need to. Picking up too much of it. Uh, I don't want to take the BB gun. I'll leave it here. There's a unique BB gun later on in the game that I'll I'll get to collect. Not right now. Oops. All right. Clear. Should be like one more house to check out here. Oh, maybe two. Two. Yeah. Then I'll go check those trailers over there. Make sure they're clear. And then we'll start heading up the road. I guess, if I remember correctly, this is 93. Well, this is. But uh, we head towards Novak, which is the next step in our journey. Reloading bench. Must be the next house that has uh, the robot and all the scrap. It's not this one. And before I head up the road, if I get all this, these miscellaneous parts I need, I might uh, fast travel back to Prim and get the robot. I know I keep picking this stuff up when I don't have the space. Alright, clear. I still gotta pick up some of these miscellaneous parts, too. I think it was three scrap two scrap electronics and a sensor module or something, but I'm just going to pick up a few of each. Magazines I usually sell. Some of them come in handy, like the locksmith Kill ones. Them all. Okay. Uh, I'll take one of these just in case. Scrap metal, I need sensor module. Okay, mm I don't want to take that. I'm not sure what that means. See a second robot, pal. I can't remember who you turn those ears into. Huh. Value six. And that tells you it's pretty messed up. Alright, no more looting food and stuff. In fact, I've got to use some of this stuff up. Sasquarilla. It's pretty much. It makes you thirsty. So this town is clear. So I'm gonna travel back to Prim, see if I can get the robot. Then we'll come back and keep going down the road. Looks like everyone should be back in their places now. 
Yet they still haven't managed to pick up this dead guy. Oh, here he is. Heard it was you brought the law back to Prim, youngster. Hats off to you. That beat up old thing? What do you want to know? A courier dropped it off a couple of months back. I got it working for a little while, but the darn thing pooped out. I haven't been able to get it up and running again. I was hoping to use it for some courier work, but that ain't gonna happen. Hell if I know. I don't think it's serious, but my tinkering days are long gone. Are you welcome to try? It's yours if you can get it working. If I had my way, I'd dump it in the scrapyard in Novak and be done with the damn thing. Don't go getting yourself shot. Scrap electronics. I don't have scrap electronics. I wonder if there's any in here. Damn. I know where I can get some. I do know where I can find some scrap electronics right now, but it will require a little bit of a journey. I mean, not too much. Uh, it's, um. I need to go to the Good Spring source, and I believe it's up. Hmm. Don't quote me on that. Should be Lone Wolf Radio. It's a map marker I passed up the first time I went by. Uh, there should be some scrap electronics up there. I mean, I could just go buy some real quick, but... Ooh. In fact, while I'm here, get some water. Should just be up the hill. I think, I mean, it's been a long time since I actually paid any attention. It's just a kind of nowhere little place with a few spare parts and that's it. But I think it's up this way somewhere. Yep, I see the marker. Not sure what's up there. I don't think it's anything special. Up in the, um... Well, it's connected to Red Rock Canyon, where the cons are, and connected to the snow area up here. There's a area that goes back. It's, it's hard to get to. Like, you gotta deal with some weird jumping stuff to get to it. And it's kind of a secret. But there's a little mountain area up there that's worth checking out. You'll see it later in the game. I'm gonna have to do the uh, missions for the thorn to get creature eggs. And here we go. And a wasteland survival guide. Okay. Let's go back. I should have uh, everything else I need. Hopefully it might hopefully you won't die on me. I don't think you will, but Howdy. Howdy. Three scrap metal, two sensor modules. Fuck me. God damn it. Seriously. Seriously. Sensor modules. Let me guess. Was there some up there that I missed? It's stuff that I'd normally not even bother picking up. I thought it was just one. It was two. There we go. Pick up a couple just in case. Alright. Now we should be good.
mix it with the parts. Ooh. Ahoy. Follow me and zap things. You are following me, right? Yep, alright. Alright, let's go back to Nipton. Carry on. Head up Highway 93. Head up to Highway 93. Cross out of California and into Nevada. one thing EDE does for you is it raises your uh, perception or something. Or it just makes it easier for you to see him. Um, no, here's an Electro City guy. Yep. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Get a free Electro City outfit here. Not that I'm ever going to use it. There's not really anything back here in the trailer park, just a few scorpions. Guess I'll kill them. It's getting dark though, I don't, I won't, yeah, no. Need to get going. I want to try and at least get to the shack. Wolfhorn Ranch is not too far away before it gets dark. Now, I am going to run across some bad guys on the way, which is what I was talking about for this. It's a piece of shit. It's almost dead. But it should come in handy here. I hope. Flank up around the, the hill to the right here. Because they just ambush you if you walk through in the daylight like that. I can already see them. EDE is going to give me away for sure. Okay, I think those are probably big horners over there. Not bad guys. I know there is bad guys, but then yeah, there's some big horners. Good thing to kill with uh, to get f good food source. But it's like when you kill one, you have to kill the entire family. So unless you need a bunch of meat, there's no point in provoking those things. There's one guy over there, there's two right here. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. Sure is fun though. Did I knock one over? Yeah, this is why my doctor's packs go away so fast. Pretty much the only thing I was saving this gun for. Alright, oh I haven't shown you that thing yet. This thing's pretty sweet looking. I love this the look of this gun. Which means I'm going to keep it, but I don't have a lot of ammo for it. Um, I need to repair my leg. go. I know there's one more. Let's just get down there. Try not to die. Looks like he's running around up there. There's another one over here. Oh, there you are. Somehow isn't alerted.
<laughs> yes, one of those boars guns. I'll show you that then too. Those things sell pretty good. I'll keep that. So the SMG. It's another weird Russian gun. I'm gonna guess. I mean, it sounds Russian, right? Not gonna use it though. I'm not gonna go up there and bother looting the body. I'm just going to uh, keep going here. And there's a ranch up over the hill that's got a unique weapon in it. Not something I'd use, but something I'm going to pick up anyways. Just for the collecting. Please tell me that's not Legion or something. Okay. This is one of those prime places to get ambushed by Legion assassins. They're going to probably bother me before I get to Novak. I'd be surprised if they didn't. Sometimes they bother you after Novak on the way up to I-88. It's going to stop here and sleep. not a lot here. A few things. That is the unique cleaver, the chopper. Caps. There's like some ammo. Armor rifle. Some armor. And I'm not going to pick that up. I'm just going to sleep for however long. Maybe 5 in the morning, 5.30. Alright. Let's go. It's going to be a little legion ambush up here that I'm going to have to destroy. And I think I know. I think I got something just for that. I guess I sold my... Oh, no. some reason it shows them it's not hostile, but if you don't kill these guys, they'll go after the caravan that comes by. You'd think they'd be hostile after what I did to their buddies, but maybe they don't have radios. Anyways. Explosive! <laughs> Explosive! You don't say, fuck me. Oh, he was closer than I thought. Ah, oh, probably just broke my leg or something. Yep. Fantastic. This is why I'm gonna have to buy doctor's bags every chance I get. Let's see if one of them's got something. The throwing spears, they're kind of fun, but they're kind of shit at the same time. Alright, now. And we're down to one doctor bag. Who thought? Was that healing powder I saw? Save a few stim packs. Yeah, these guys, they get killed, or almost killed, if you don't intervene there. And there's going to be one more uh, group of bad guys before I run into pretty much all friendly territory. Good to get. I'll probably roll up to a uh, checkpoint. Or whatever it is. Outpost. The NCR place up here, Charlie, whatever it is. Checkpoint Charlie, Outpost Charlie, I can't remember. And call it. Wear down on the a little bit. 
There's a train tunnel over here with a little camp that usually has some bad guys in front of it, but I'm going to avoid that for the moment. And there's probably some mole rats right here. I only remember these little details because I was just going through doing this a playthrough up to part 7 I think I had. I, I had gotten the free side and was starting to do things there when I lost my video on my hard drive dying. So I remember I kind of almost did things the same way as I did. over the hill. Is some more bad guys. The Ranger Station Charlie, that's what it's called. I don't know why I couldn't think that. Oh what the hell? The Legion killed him. That's interesting. That guy's got a got a good shotgun on him. Get him, ED. <laughs> Good robot. Well, that makes it easier. I've never seen Legion just randomly show up there and kill those guys. The Remington 870 is pretty sweet. I'm going to hold on to that. It's kind of beat up, but I'll get it repaired at some point here. Cool little shotgun. Oh, I got one of them. Um, there should be three of these guys. Got a grenade rifle. Nah, that's messed up. Uh, I don't see the other one. I'm gonna go over here and talk to these guys. Then I'll probably call it. Kind of surprised I didn't get ambushed by any um, assassin groups yet. I will, though. I'm sure I will. Nothing really here yet. This is part of a quest later on in the game. It's just kind of a... I wouldn't say safe, but it's just a zone with a few rangers. McCarran doesn't like it when civilians wander into military outposts. So if you're here on business, better make it quick. Radio signal out here can be pretty spotty because of all the hills. Sometimes our scheduled updates don't go through. When it happens enough times, they send someone over to check up on us. Lately, we've been getting extra medical supplies for some reason. I'm in no rush to give the supplies back, either. He doesn't give me any. Ranger Station Charlie. We're responsible for keeping the highway up through Novak civilized. All quiet at the moment. Ranger Beaumont is in charge here, but he's off leading a patrol. We're part scout, part commando, part sheriff. The training is brutal, and I'd say 8 out of 10 recruits washes out before the end. Before you get your ranger badge, you've got to prove you can be quieter than a shadow, and more ferocious than a deathclaw. A couple dozen, I'd say. Most of them posted at stations like this one. We either man the station or patrol the immediate area. The rangers mostly draw from the basic NCR army. A trooper who shows exceptional skill at fighting and scouting can be nominated for the training. Sure. Mm, that's it. See you around. Yeah, not likely, buddy. I know your future. And this is just kind of like a little fortress of of random stuff. Just random trailers. 
stuff like that. Nothing I can loot. So, for now, I'll just come up here and find a chill spot to call this part. Such as right here. Alright, so, next time we'll pick up going to Novak and all that. So, that's it for now. So, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.